over 50, so what? In these crazy times, I hope you're finding time to act a little crazy yourself. You'll see some pics of me letting off steam during stage three lockdown. Now, on today's show, we're going to look at some techniques for handling stress. Our fitness expert, Jamie Hayes, will share his special strategies for getting through these times. We have our regular fitness segment, and we're going to see the amazing transformation of our 70-year-old grandmother in time for a change. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of self-care, looking after yourself. Most of us have been on a plane when they announce, should an oxygen mask appear in front of you, apply it to yourself first before assisting others. Unless we look after ourselves, we can't look after the ones we care about. And there's many, many ways to look after ourselves. It could be having a hot bath or a massage, doing something of that nature. Today, we're going to be looking at mindfulness and meditation. When I interviewed all the Australian legends for the book Alive and Kicking, they all did exercise, ate healthily, and a couple of other things. They all did something they loved, that they were passionate about, and they all did some type of relaxation, downtime, time out. Let's look at meditation. Over 600 studies have shown that meditation lowers your heart rate, lowers your blood pressure, and lowers your adrenal levels. Wallace did a study that showed long-term meditators, people that had meditated for five years or more, at a biological age 12 years younger. That's how beneficial meditation is. With mindfulness, studies have shown that mindfulness techniques and practice reduce depression, burnout, anxiety, and help you to sleep, improve your sleep. Meditation. You don't have to do a formal mantra. Guided meditations are very, very popular. You just go online, download them, da download them, get an app, and you can get it specific to the thing you want to address. It could be giving up smoking. It could be losing weight. It could be just getting rid of stress. So guided meditations are fantastic. You just pop them on and that's it. Mindfulness. Now, a lot of you will be thinking, what? is mindfulness. It's a bit of a buzzword. It's being integrated into school systems now because it's so beneficial. Well, all mindfulness is, is focusing on the present. A lot of us spend time worrying about the future and getting angry and upset about the past. So mindfulness practice is just focusing on the now. And to give you an example, if you're out walking and you're walking on the beach, what can you see? Can you see birds, seed, trees, people, dogs? What can you hear? Can you hear the wind? Can you hear the waves crashing? Can you hear your own breath? Can you hear the birds singing? What can you smell? Can you smell the sea air? Can you feel the wind on your face? And that's as easy it is, as it is. Just focusing on the now. What can you see, hear, smell, feel? So at the end of the show, I'd like you to take a moment to close your eyes and just focus on your breath. When I was interviewing the people for the book, one of them just laid on the floor and focused on their breath. Another gentleman, you'll love this one, he said ironing was his downtime. So just doing the ironing, focusing on the ironing, focusing on now and not thinking about anything else. So take a moment to look after yourself and close your eyes 
and focus on your breath. That's it. And now our fitness veteran, Jamie Hayes, shares with us his tips for getting through these interesting times and keeping our immune system strong. I really think that you've got to protect your health. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five things that, you know, just words of encouragement. If you think of these five, you see, I like numbers and I like the sort of the numbers you can count on one hand. Firstly, eat fresh. So eat fresh food, less processed food, you know, less food with labels and, you know, definitely not fried foods. So eat fresh, you know, go to your butcher, your fishmonger, your greengrocer, you know, eat fresh. Number two is lift things. Either lift your body, lift parcels, walk up those stairs, do the strength training. So one is eat fresh, two is to lift things, you know, to the point of uh, effort. Uh, number three, to get a good night's sleep, one of the biggest secrets we have learned is get to bed early. <laughs> because a lot of people, natu- like me, I naturally wake up around 4, 4.30, if I don't go to bed by 8, 8.30, I'm screwed. So if I want to get a good night's sleep, I just go to bed early. So uh, I, go, I sort of go to bed New Zealand time. You're from New Zealand, Carol, so you know what that means. So I'm pretty well in sync with my friends in New Zealand. So get to bed early. And uh, so you might get, go up and go to the bathroom a few times through the night, and, uh, but getting to bed early so um, you wake up nat. Whenever you wake up naturally, you've been in bed for at least eight hours. So that's that's something good to plan on. Uh, 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 number number four is get some sunshine. So get whatever you do. Uh, you know, and I know that there are various um, uh, you know rules and regulations in different states, particularly Victoria. But see if you can get out in sunshine and walk during the day. Uh, because we, what we want to do is try to maintain optimal vitamin D status, and and there's loads of other benefits you can you know, wave to people and you know you know look at the greenery and you know, if you can get out in the park or whatever that's even better. But get some sunshine. You know, worst case scenario, go out in the backyard and lay out in the sun. You know, if you're not moving in the sunshine, get out in the sunshine. Just recently, I had a friend in Los Angeles say. He came down with COVID and he's uh, mid 50s. But he said, strangely, my body told me, get out in the sunshine. Uh, you know, luckily it passed away, you know, passed, he didn't pass away, but the virus passed away three, three days later. Uh, but he just naturally felt the need to get out in the sunshine. And number five is connect with people. Either connect with friends, connect with relatives, connect with neighbors, you know, I know we're socially distancing, so, uh, and and even if it's, you know, right now we're talking via Zoom, if we're talking by Zoom, so connect with people. So let's run through those. Number one, eat fresh. Number two, lift things. Number three, in bed early. Number four, get some sunshine. And number five, connect with people so you've got that social engagement. Say hello to your neighbour. Excellent, Jamie. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on Over 50 So What? We look forward to seeing you again on the future episodes where you can share some more pearls of wisdom. Okay, Carol, and people got questions, they can shoot you the questions and we can have a QA and a session. So send all your diet and exercise questions and I'm sure we'll have good sessions answering those questions. Excellent. Thanks, Jamie. If you do have any questions about nutrition, health, well-being, fitness, Be sure to let us know through Facebook. Just send us a question and we'll try and address them in future shows. But now, get ready because after the break, we're going to have a fun fitness routine. This is another fun routine. Quite easy to do if you're in a chair. We're going to do a grapevine. You've probably done this before. It's just step behind step together, step behind step together. Or you can just do two steps like this. Step behind step touch. And 
We have knee lifts, so we do a double knee lift. And we do a single knee lift. And what's really good for the brain is touching it with your opposite hand. So the routine is called Before I Get Old. I've been going out of age 
for a change. Over the past few weeks, we've been working with our brave volunteer, Jenny Cartwright, to give her an image reset. She has two children and two grandchildren. Now, we've looked at her lifestyle, we've looked at the colors that suit her, but today we're gonna to see an amazing transformation with a new haircut and makeup. What I'm doing here with Jenny is concaving the back part of her hair, giving it more volume up here and accentuating it here on the sides. So therefore in the front, we're gonna add, slightly slant it down in the front. What I'm giving to Jenny, applying to Jenny's hair as a mousse, is a, a mousse that's a, a boosting foam, which really helps the hair hold better. I've got to get that motion and I haven't got it yet. I'm um, not going to work for me. See the palm here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Jenny likes it a bit sort of smoother. Smoother. Okay. Right. I did like that. I did like it ruffled up actually. Oh, I did you are. Yeah. Loving it. Loving yeah. it. Yeah. If you can get this, this would be your saving grace. Instead of hairspray, sorry. Oh, I love Look at it. this. Look at this. What hair? Yeah, I know. Oh, you died right. for it. <laughs> now what we're doing is we're actually starting on the makeup for Jenny. And um, we had a, a little bit of a kerfuffle looking for the absolutely right foundation because Jenny's got quite a lot of keratin in her skin so we had to match the skin tone exactly with the foundation it has to be the same now because of the keratin it makes the skin look quite warm but they're not necessarily the colors that are going to be best for her to wear as far as the things that she wears on her body um, and lipsticks eyeshadows blush no although she's got this yellow skin it doesn't mean to say that they're the clothing colours that she can wear either. So otherwise she will end up looking like a Lumpa Lumpa. I don't want her to look like one of the yellow people. <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to now take a look at what's happening with Jenny right now. But boy, oh boy, what a transformation already. Yeah. What do you think, girls? <laughs> We've just, yeah, that's fabulous. I'm happy. Mm, yeah, <laughs> what a difference. Wow, and look, this colour is divine. It's one of your colours anyway. It's one of your pastel colours. But I'm just going to add, um, just to show just how beautiful our colour can be on Jen. Now, this is just another divine scarf. She's not allowed to have it, of course. But, you know, look, she looks like she's ready for the opera now. And she hasn't even got a, um, earrings on. But that is beautiful. What do you think? Mm, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Smile. Yeah. Yeah. Horizontal. Love horizontal. Smile. Uh, and horizontal. Yeah. yeah. You've got these. So here we go. We've got Jenny, who has just been totally made over by the very talented Danielle. Danielle's had done the haircut, she's done the makeup. It's been a wonderful session for Jen. Tell me, Jen, um, how do you feel right now looking at yourself? Oh, fantastic. You're about 20 years younger. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look beautiful, actually. And you've really done such a great job. So what were the, the key things that you were looking for to change as far as the hair? What did you want to do with that? This is a big difference, and I can see it right now. It's, it's a big gorgeous. difference, but it wasn't too much of a, a job of a working out, but it's just actually knowing what is going to suit Jenny. Mm -hmm. um, Jenny liked the, the fullness um, of yeah. her hair on the top, and also um, the fringe before seemed a little bit of a club cut. So we just... Yeah thinned it out a little bit and brought it down a bit more towards the face, which we're going to have to um, grow a little bit more and um, giving it more fullness at the back here, mm. concaving it. I'm loving the concave yes, at the it's, back it's as just well. just gives it a nice natural fullness and she has such beautiful hair, beautiful body to her hair, lovely curl and therefore I uh, emphasised and brought out the curl more by putting a little bit of mousse uh, in her hair 
not spray, but mousse, and really emphasising that curl and um, scrunching it and giving it that height and body, mm. which really she's got great hair. And you so know what I really did love what you did with the eyes was to because Jenny's eyes tend to have that curved down eye, right. where you actually brought them up a little bit, so I thought that was great. And the colours used on your skin were perfect, yeah. beautiful. Beautiful, it softens so the face. It's just changed you up completely. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I love it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure. I, 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 I hope I can keep like this. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Next time, uh, we're getting into Jenny's wardrobe, and that'll be a lot of fun. We're just going to have Jenny's for who? Well, <laughs> certainly for me. I don't know, but I'll, I'll, I'll just give her a decent drink of something special <laughs> before we get started. But the good thing is, Jen, I know Jenny's got some really lovely things in the wardrobe and she really needs to utilise them. If there are th the one thing that we'll be doing is going through and getting rid of the things that do not suit her colour-wise. The second thing we're going to do is to then check all the rest of them to make sure they fit, they look good, for then blending and mixing and we're going to get Jen a, a lookbook so she can just click through and say, I'm wearing that today and we'll have the jewellery, the bag, the shoes, the outfit from top to bottom. Oh, wow. Is that going to be great for you? Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, <laughs> All the best, lovely. And Wasn't that an amazing transformation? Wow. Well, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at Jenny's wardrobe and how to organise your wardrobe. Maybe you haven't been into your wardrobe for 10 years, so that could be interesting. Now, men or women watching today, if you're thinking of having an image makeover, just drop us a note through Facebook or through the website. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more fitness videos or the replays, just jump on YouTube and please join us on Facebook. We do put the replays up there as well. Send us your story, send us your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Life is too short to be serious. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll send you the latest TV episodes and videos. Like our Facebook page and please send us your comments, your stories and any inspiring people that you know. Over 50, so what?